Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. hello. How are you guys? Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Thank you so much for waiting. We had problems of connection with Zoom, but finally we are here. How do you feel today? Everything good on this Wednesday? I'm fine. You're very fine. Excellent. Very, Welcome. very good. Yeah, very good. That's nice to hear that. I have a great day. You had a good day. Excellent. That is all right. Great. Okay. Everything good at work? Perfectly. At home? Perfect. Yay. That's cool. Very, very nice. Good. Welcome then, Maria, Sulma, Marvin, Wilfredo. We have Raquel, William, Wendy, Wendy Beatriz, Fatima, Larissa, Eric. Good to see you one more time, guys. Daisy. We got Diana. Who else we have? Saida, Jennifer, Stella, Brenda, Carolina, Diana Beatriz, Sandy, Claudia Carolina, Freddy, and we got Eved. Welcome everyone, guys, and one more time, thank you so much for waiting, for your patience, and we are going to continue with this. Remember yesterday, we continued with describing here different people. What about the clothing they were wearing? What about the position that they had also in a specific place? Now, let's go ahead here with a short conversation that I have. In this part, this one is, which one is she? And it says, hi, Diego. Good to see you. Is Cora here too? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alana. Oh, let's go to talk to my friend Paula. She doesn't know anyone here. Paula, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing a long skirt over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans and a scarf. She's standing near the window. Okay, I'd like to meet her. Right? It's similar than the conversation that we also practiced yesterday. So it has similar, just the vocabulary and some phrases that it changed. Now let's check here. Who are Sally and Marcus? They're the ones wearing glasses. So if we observe here, there are two guys wearing glasses. And let's see about the next part. Which ones are Robert and Kathy? They're the guys with the sweaters on their shoulders. There are only two guys, right? A man and a woman. And they have the sweaters on their shoulders. Did you see them already? What colors are the sweaters that you can observe? Light blue. Light blue is one. The one is wearing the man. What about the woman? Brown. Brown. It's brown. Excellent. That's cool. Very nice. Okay. Now let's answer to this one. Number one. Who's Mario? Or who's the girl talking with Mario? So who's Mario? This is number one, right? Now you're going to describe it. This is Mario. How can you make a description using the present participle? Remember in present participle, you can omit uh, on the second sentence, the subject. Who wants to try? Wendy Beatriz? Would you like to try? Who's Mario? Um, who's Mario? Who's uh, who the girl talking with Mario? Mm -hmm. Now let's read this one first. Uh -huh. How would okay. you describe Mario? This is number one. Use the t-shirt blue. A he's wearing. Blue. He's wearing a sky blue. Uh, okay. Huh? Sky wearing. blue. Sky blue shirt. Uh -huh. What else? I'm sorry? His, her, his skin, skin is brown, color brown. All right, dark skin. His dark skin. Your hair is black hair. His, his hair is black. His hair is black. He's very funny. All right, he's very funny, very good, thank you, nice. Okay, now let's go ahead 
on the next part. Who's the girl talking with Mario? This is the girl, right? You can assign a name, the name that you want to assign. Eric, who's the girl talking with Mario? I... Sorry? She's wearing. Ah, okay, she's wearing. She's wearing blouse. Green. A blouse? A green blouse. She's wearing a green blouse. Blouse. Uh -huh. A green blouse. blouse. Very good. What else? What about what color is her hair? Her hair, her hair is black. It's black. That's all right. Great one. Thank you, Wilfredo. Yes. Now tell me about number two. Which one is Betty? And Betty is number two. So describe Betty. Is this woman? Uh, she's wearing. Uh, uh, a red dress. That's good. She's wearing a red dress. What and, else? And her hair is a long brown. No. It can be brown, right? Yes. Her hair is brown. Maybe it's like mix brown and black too, right? Great, very good. Betsaida, continue. What about who's Olivia? This is Olivia. She Number is. Three. No, she wearing. She's wearing. Uh, she's wearing. Um, red skin. Is she's yeah. wearing. She's wearing. White blouse. Okay, a white blouse. And green. No sé si es falda. A skirt. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't skirt. notice, right? But I think it's a skirt. It's a skirt. Skirt. And a green skirt. And uh -huh. sandals. <laughs> and sandals, yes. So you can also say, like, uh, okay, she is the one wearing sandals. She is the one with... Mm -hmm. The short hair, right? So we can describe it, right? In different manners. Very good job, guys. Nice. Okay, now let's go to another Miss, exercise. Yes, tell me. Miss, uh, about Mario, we can say is mm -hmm. the man with the hand in, in his pocket. In his pocket, that's correct. So in that way, you're giving a different description, right? Not okay. Like and, a, uh -huh. and Olivia is the girl with curly hair. With the curly hair, correct. You're giving okay. different description. Okay. You're using preposition. That's right. Good. Oh. And about number two. Betty. 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 Uh, is the girl wearing, wearing I remember wearing, wearing uh, hair. Wearing, huh? Yes. Uh, wearing yeah. hair. Oh, you mean wavy. Yeah. Ah, wavy. Wavy That's hair. Good. Oh, okay. With wavy mm -hmm. hair. All right, that's good. Very nice description, guys. Great job. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got another exercise. Let's continue practicing here. Here we have five people. We have Betty, Steve, Ernest. Then we have here, look at here. We need to change this one. This one is between. Mm -hmm. We're going to change this one. Yeah, this Betty. one is Betty again. Yes, you repeated Betty the name is, here. <laughs> Betty is a little different, a bit little. A little, different. yeah, that's true. Very different. <laughs> okay, the tall woman. That's next to Ernest. Let's put here that this one is Alina. We have Alina, Alice. Okay, let's see about the first one. We're going to give the description. And then you're going to guess which is the one we're talking about. Number one, can you read it, Fatima, please? I repeat, please. Uh -huh. And the first one, read number one, please. Okay. She's the she, short. She's holding the book. Holding the books. 
Very good. So she's the short girl holding the books. Who's she? Alina. It's Alina, right? Correct. We have it here. What about number two? Sulma, read it, please. Number two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Steven is very short. Uh, not this one. Just read the description. She's the one. This one is the description. Read it, please. Uh, okay. please. She's the one with glasses. Very good job. Nice. Okay. She's the one with glasses. Who is she? Is Betty, right? Excellent. That's right. What about number three? Maria, read it, please. She is? She is the third woman next to Ernest. Next to Ernest. That's good. Who is she? Alice. It's Alice. Very good. Nice. What about number four? William, read it, please. He's the man wearing a purple suit. Purple the suit. one with the suit. Okay. The one with the pur ponytail. Ponytail. Very good. Okay. So that's the, the form that they are describing this one, right? He is he? Ernest. He's Ernest, right? That's correct. Look at that here that is saying, okay, we're in a purple ponytail. suit. <laughs> a purple <laughs> suit. Can you imagine a purple suit for a man? <laughs> very strange <laughs> and it says the one here it continues giving more information about him the one with the ponytail a ponytail is this is tail of hair <laughs> right so that's Hola, the hair caballo. exactly exactly like that <laughs> and also exists for women right we also wear in that way now what's the other one number five Fatima can you please? Yes, he's the blonde guy between Betty and Ernest. That's all right. Who's he? Steve. He's a Steve. That's correct. Good one. So let's remember that we have different manners to describe a person, not only necessarily like physical appearance, but also in what they are wearing. What is the position of place that they have. Do you have questions about it? I have a question. Go ahead. What is the meeting holding? Oh, holding. If you notice here, she has the books. That means sosteniendo. Um, okay. Thank so you. you can hold the cell phone, you can hold the books, you can hold different things in your hands. Any other question? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Please. Yes, tell me. No. Oh, so we can say um, for Alice, um, uh, cabello liso. Oh, a straight hair. A straight, a straight, straight hair. hair. It's like this. Okay. Is straight, straight hair. Okay. Different than curly or wavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Okay. Let's continue. Here's some more description about fashion. We know that fashion, there is a variety of types of clothing, different types of style. It says in the public eye, fashion on the street. For example, here we have a button down shirt. Remember button down? That means with one button is open or maybe two or maybe three. That depends on the quantity. We have a belt. We have a slacks. Slacks are formal pants. Those are slacks. Dress shoes that will be like formal shoes. This one will be the classic manner, right? Now, another one, it could be like this. Jacket. Or sweater, right? If it's really cold. We have also cargo pants, tennis shoes. So it's very casual. This guy is wearing very casual style. Another style we have is about this girl. T-shirt, horse, plate skirt, striped tights. 
Do you have a new vocabulary? Yes. Mm -hmm. Straight ties, play skirt. Oh, this one. Play the skirt is this one. Like paletoneadas. Those are plate skirts. And striped tights is like medias, pero rayadas. So this one it will be the description. Striped, it means rayados. It can be striped pants, striped t-shirt, blouse, even shoes. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Notice here that also we have the cargo pants. Cargo pants is this style that right now they are on fashion, guys. This is a trend right now. As for girls and also for boys. Do you like cargo pants, guys? I have... Um, I like t-shirts. Uh, you like them? Yes. Uh, 15, 15 years ago. Really? You bought them 15 years ago? And they're yeah. still in good condition? Yes. Hey, that's cool. Yeah, these ones actually... They began like in the 2001, right? The cargo pants. As we know, the fashions, they come back. So they are good yeah. because they are very useful, right? In the pockets, you can put a lot of things. Your cell phone. Can the be, hunters the wallet, use right? that, that kind of pants. Yeah, definitely. Yes, they do. Okay. Now, let's go ahead here on our next part. Got an exercise here. In the one we have, like this, rewrite these statements using modifiers with participles or prepositions. Now, remember that here you have two sentences, but you can make it short and connect the idea to make only one sentence. And we have the example here. Let's see, um, Raquel, are you present, Raquel? Present teacher. Hello, girl. Can you please read the example? Kyle? Yes. Kyle is a tall guy. He's wearing a yellow shirt and brown pants. Mm -hmm. Kyle okay. is a tall guy wearing a yellow shirt and brown pants. Excellent. Thank you. If you are here in the first one, we have a, the simple sentences. We're giving more information here, but it's divided with two sentences. You can eliminate the subject here and connect it with the participle. So it will be Kyle is the tall guy until here. Eliminate the period, eliminate the subject and the verb to be, and use the rest of the information. Let's go ahead with number two. Diana, are you here with us? Diana Jamilet? Eved? Eve Jaciel. No. Margarita. No. Selena. Selena Yamilet. Selena. Mi coach, Wendy. Hello. All right, let's see then. Betsaida, help us, please. Hello. That will be number two. You have the two sentences, but now you're going to make it only with the participle. Podría ser. Uh -huh. Mark and Eve. And Eve. Eve. Mm -hmm. Mark and Eve. Are here. Uh, uh -huh. Go ahead. Mar and you are middle aged. Uh -huh. The middle aged couple. Couple is junto, ¿verdad? Couple, yes. Mm -hmm. Eliminate this. Couple talking. Couple talking to Michael. To Michael, uh huh. That is correct. So basically, what we eliminate is the period point. and subject and verb. 
Mm-hmm. Only that. That's the only, only that. thing. Uh-huh. Only Miss, that thing. Yes, tell me. Uh, she asked if couple is uh, juntos, but I think is pareja. Oh, well, I thought that you were telling me if it's separated word. Pensé que eh, yeah. se refería a que las palabras eran separadas, but no, couple, that means pareja. Mm. It's like Mark is the boy and Eve is the girl. <laughs> es que para mí se lo <laughs> No, that means bueno, pero, pareja. Se puede. Uh -huh. Yes, it's possible. <laughs> It's possible. Yeah, that's correct. So, good. Basically, what we do, the, like uh, you are going to eliminate, right? The periods and also the subject and the verb to be. And you go ahead with just the participle. And that acts like a description that you are giving here. So, it will be like this. Let's make it bigger. Mark and Eve are the middle aged couple talking to Michael. To Michael. Like this. What about number three? Thank you, Betsaida. Continue, Marvin. Can you help us? Alex is the young yes. girl. <clears throat> Alexis, okay. sorry. Alexis is the young girl mm -hmm. in a white t-shirt and blue jeans. That's all right. So we begin there with the preposition because you notice there we don't have like a participle form. So that will be Alexis is the young girl. In a white, we got a t shirt and blue jeans. Alexis is the young girl in a white t shirt and blue jeans. That's all right. Good one. So eliminate there that period to make only one sentence. Very nice. Raquel, are you there? It says that Brittany is the woman in the green dress. She's sitting to the left of Javier. Raquel Esther? No person? Sorry, teacher. Sí. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Brittany is the woman in the green dress. She's sitting to the left of Javier. Mm -hmm. Okay, now make it one sentence. Eliminate the period and subject and the verb be again. So it will be Brittany. Brittany uh -huh. is the woman That's in right. the green dress. In the green dress. Now in my participle. Green... Sitting. Sitting to the left of Javier. Of Javier. Very good. That's all right. Good one. In the green dress. Sitting to the left of Javier. All right, and there we have it. And let's see the next one. What about number five? Daisy? JP is the serious looking boy. He's playing a video game. In this case, we have a participle. Okay. JP is the serious looking boy playing a video game. That's all right. Excellent. That's great. Okay. Let's write it down. The serious Playing video game. A video game. That's great. Okay, now we're going to read them to practice them. Maria, can you begin, please? Number one. Read number Kaylee, 
Kay Kay Kyle Kay Kyle Kay Kay is the tall guy. The tall guy. Guy. He is wearing wearing a yellow a yellow shirt shirt and brown and brown pants. Brown pants. Very good. Read the next one. Kyle. Kyle the tall is the is tall. The tall is the tall guy wearing a yellow shirt, shirt, pardon. shirt, and, shirt, and woman and brown pants. And brown pants. Thank you. Very pants. good. Wilfredo, continue. Number two. Mark and Eve are the middle-aged couple. They are talking to Michael. To Michael. Very good. The other option, Mark. Mark and Eve are the middle-aged Edge couple talking to Michael. Very good. Thank you. Let's continue then with Estela. Are you here, Estela? William? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Go ahead, Estela. Alexis Number three. In uh -huh. Alexis in the young girl. The young girl. The young girl. She's in a white t shirt and blue jeans. Right. The other option is Alexis in the younger in a white t shirt and the blue jeans. Very good. Thank you. Diana. Are you here, Diana? No? William, can you help us please? Number four. Number four. Brittany is the woman in green dress. She's sitting to the left of Javier. Nice. Second option. Brittany is the woman in the green dress sitting to the left of Javier. Thank you so much. That's nice. Good. Marvin. Okay. JP is the serious looking boy. Serious. He's playing serious, serious looking boy. Good. He's playing a video game. Right. Second option. Okay. JP is the serious looking boy playing a video game. Excellent job, guys. Thank you. Nice. Any question? So there we have included present participles and also prepositions with some. Please. Yes. What's the meaning? Sit, sitting? Sitting. That means sentado or sentada. In this case, está sentada. Uh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Miss? Yes. And uh, number four. En, en lugar de, en lugar de usar, por ejemplo, dice, Britney is the woman in, yo al principio, no, perdón, en la número tres. Oh, three, okay. Alexis? En la, Alexis, the young girl, yo en un inicio había pensado con with, with a white you can use jeans. it yeah you can use Se it puede. yeah you can use it mm -hmm. you can uh, use it in a white t-shirt or with a white t-shirt both can be because you're referring like to clothing okay thank you miss you're welcome all right let's continue then as we know that we need to advance right in the platform we are going to continue with the last section. The last section, it will be section five. And the name of this one is, have you ever ridden a camel? Let's see here. It says that in this session, we will learn, let's make it bigger. We will learn about present perfect. Present perfect is put in practice during the conversation. But first, let's learn a little bit about the present perfect tense. What is this one? It says present perfect tense is used to describe an action that has taken place in the past, but has a connection with the present. We do not specify the exact time that the action had taken place. In when using this tense, that means that there is a connection of the past to the present. And it's possible that this action you can repeat it in the future. So in this one, it says to make an affirmative, we use the following formula. We need a subject, 
plus auxiliary. Auxiliaries for present perfect, they are has and have. We are going to see the differences. Plus has participle. We need to use the past participle form of a verb. Plus an object, if any. Sometimes we don't have an object, right? Let's see about the case of the negative. In the negative, it says that we use the following formula. Subject plus auxiliaries, has or have, depending on the subject, plus the negative not, plus past participle of the verb, and plus an object if this one exists. Now, when we ask questions, we use the following formula. Has or have, so first you need auxiliaries, plus a subject, as participle, and an object if this one exists. Now, let's see some form. Present perfect tense. What is the tense? Affirmative, as we were mentioning. I have tried sushi before. So I is my subject. Have is an auxiliary. Tried is the verb. This one is the action in the past participle. This one is the complement. Negative. We have here, I have not tried sushi before. Subject, auxiliary, negative, past participle of the verb or the action, and then we have a complement. Interrogative, as we mentioned before, we have the auxiliary, right? In this one, it will be, have you tried sushi before? Auxiliary, subject, past participle of the verb, and then we have a complement. And don't forget the question mark because it's interrogative form. Now in this one, basically present perfect tense is referring to you started in the past, but there is a connection to the present. So basically this will be like cosas que hemos hecho o no hemos hecho aún, pero es posible que las podamos eh, realizar a futuro. Let's watch the video. This one is about conversation. A visit to New Orleans. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation. No problem with the video? No problem. Please. No problem. Okay. okay. Cool. Thank you. Conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. All right, so let's practice our conversation here. Between Jang and Toad. It says, it's great to see you, Toad. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Um, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. New vocabulary. A streetcar? A streetcar? It's a kind of car in the one, well, it's bigger. It looks like a train. It's this one. This one is a streetcar. 
but a street car, you know, is working bad with electricity. It's like this one. A street car is an electric vehicle for carrying people which travels on rails in the street of a town. So it looks like a train, like a small train, actually. And well, it depending on the country, they look in different manners. They can have different forms. And also, we have a river boat, the one I mentioned here, a river boat tour. This one is a river boat. So it's a boat just to travel on the river. Any other question? No more vocabulary? Reading teacher. I'm sorry? I don't know reading. Oh, reading. Reading in means like, for example, there are some of the transportation that you use drive. There are others that you use ride. For example, in the case of a motorcycle, you don't say I drive a motorcycle. You say you ride a motorcycle. Also, you ride a horse you ride a streetcar. Basically, that means montarse. Okay. It comes from the verb. The base form of the verb is ride. But as this one is in past participle, then it must hear, ridden. In the past, is like this. When you say the simple past, it will be equals to road. I rode a horse yesterday I rode in a street car but the past participle is written past participle written any other question teacher what is the meaning to which one? Sorry. So, is, is the name? Oh, is the name? Uh huh. As it's a conversation between um, Jan and Toad. Uh, is the, okay. No, is the name of the man. All right. Time to practice it. Let's begin. Let's see it, Selena. Selena. Wendy Adamaris. It's great to see you too. Have you been in New Orleans long? Very good job. Thank you. Let's continue. Sandy, Are you present, Sandy? Yes, I fit days. Are you really? I'm really? In really? I'm really excited. 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 I'm really excited to be to be here. Very good. Here. To be here. Very good. Thank you. Let's continue, Maria. Maria. Daisy. Me, me. Oh, sorry. Me, yes. Me, me. I can. Uh -huh. I, I can't. Why? I can't. I can't. I can't. Wait. 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 To show. To show. You the city. All right. Have you? Uh, you have you? Uh huh. Between. Been. been to, have you been? been. Good. Uh huh. Have, have you, you been? Been to a yes project. Club yet? Thank you. That's good. Eric, continue, please. Yeah. I've be already been to one. Mm -hmm. That's good. I've I've already been to one. I've already been to one. Very good job. Nice. Continue, Wilfredo, please. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? 
tour. Thank you, Wendy Beatriz. Oh, I ha. have. I, ha. Uh, ha. I, I really don't. I've. I've. I really. Already. Already done that too. That's all right. Good one, Fatima. Have you written? Written? In a, written, written in a streetcar? There a lot of, a lot of fun. Fun. Very good. Sulma. Actually, that that's how I got here today. Thank you. Freddy. Well, is there anything you want to do? Very good job. Thank you. Let's continue, Jennifer. Are you present, Jennifer? Marvin? <clears throat> okay. You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. That's great. Good one. Any question? Do you have new vocabulary? Any other question? Okay, let's see then some more structure here and some other examples. As we were mentioning, right, this tense or this time is the present perfect tense. Affirmative form, we know we have subjects here. I, you, we, they. You use the auxiliary have. As participle is the same manner with all of the subjects. What we are going to change is the auxiliary. If you have the subjects for third person singular, he, she, or it, now my auxiliary has. And always the past participle of the verb. In the negative, in the subjects, always the same form, right? I, you, we, they, auxiliary. You can use have not, complete manner, or you can make a contraction like haven't, past participle of the verb. Third person form, he, she, or it. Now you use hasn't, contraction, or has not in a separate manner. Always pass participle of the verb. As a question, if this one is a yes, no question, first thing we need, auxiliary. But it all depends on the subject. So it will be like this. Have you, uh, oh, sorry, have I, have you, have we, have they lived? Has. A third person, has he, has she, has it studied, or has it, or she, or he eaten? That's about the structure that we have. Now, let's remember, we need past participle of the verbs. But how do we know which ones are past participle form? It depending on the verb that you want to use in the sentence here. Remember that we have two types of verbs. We have regular verbs and also irregulars. In the regular verbs, we know that when you use the simple past form, it has ed. The good thing here is that if you know that the verb is regular, all right, then it's the same form, simple past, and also the past participle form. We have the first one. It says, accept, accepted is in the past. And in the past participle, the same way, accepted. Paint, painted, painted. Like, liked, liked. Bathe, bathed, bathed. Live, lived, lived. Apply, applied, applied. Deny, denied, denied. Carry, carried, carried. So if it's regular verb, you know they have ed as past and also the past participle form. Do you have a new verb here? Deny, teacher. What is I'm it? Sorry? Mean? Which one? Deny. Oh, this one? Deny. Denying means Deny. negar. Negar. Okay. For example, okay. when you say, eh, I denied that I made a mistake. Negué que cometió un error. I denied. 
I have denied. Any other one? What about bathe? Bathe. 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 Uh -huh. It's like to take a shower. Tomar un baño. O bañar. You can also say, bathe my dog. Bathe. Some people bathe the cats. <laughs> and also bathe your baby. Bathe your sister, your little brother. So that is bathe. Bañar. What about apply? Uh, carry. Carry. Carry means yeah. cargar. Carry books can be carry bags. Carry big things. Cargar. Teacher, it carry yes. is just is just to cargar or can you use carry to llevar? Exactly. Actually, yes, it has two contexts. Llevar o cargar algo. You can carry your things. Lleva tus For cosas. example, carry your if things. I if I speaking about to to get my car and go to some place, can I say can I say uh, I'm going I'm going to carry my car? You can say I'm going to carry my car. Yeah, that's all right. Ah, okay. Carry, okay. but you know it's more formal to use in the case of transportation, right? It's better to use I'm going to take my car. For example, I'm going to take my car to the mechanic. Oh, mm -hmm. it's, it's better, basically it's better like use Eva. take. Take my car. Mm -hmm. Because it's in the case that you move it to another place. Okay, okay, thank you. And take two. The combination is take two. Take, for example, it take the car to the mechanic. Or to the workshop, right? Also, it can be. But you take it to another place. But carry is more like a, a llevar can, cargándolo. It's more carry. You can also carry a baby porque se carga en los, en los brazos. Any other one? Or any other question? This is in the case with regular verbs that, of course, we know that there are more, right? There are a lot. Let's see on another one that we have. There are others here. Now, in the case of this one, we have verb, simple past, past participle. We got some of them like tucked, tucked, tucked. What do you think? This one is regular or irregular? Regular. Regular. That's regular, right? Correct. Because it has ED. The base form is talk. ED, past participle, ED too. What about cry? Cried? Cried. Regular or irregular? Regular. regular. That's regular. Excellent. Ring, rank, wrong. Irregular. irregular. That's irregular, right? Because doesn't have ED. That's right. What about swim, swam, swim? Regular or irregular? Irregular. 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 Excellent. No ED. Perfect. Eat, ate, eaten. Irregular. Irregular. That's irregular. Great. Rise, rose, risen. Irregular. Irregular. That's irregular. Excellent. Chase, chased, chased. Irregular. That's regular, right? Only contained the D at the end. Now, observe here that as the base form of chase, the last letter of the base form, it ends in letter E. We are not going to duplicate the E again. No ED, but only the D is necessary. Go, went, and gone. Regular or irregular? Irregular. That's irregular. irregular. That's all right. Great. Okay. Now, tell me, do you have a new verb here? Ring? Ring. Ringing means sonar. For example, your cell phone rings. A bell rings. The telephone rings. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, 
Rise. Rise. Rise your hand. Aha. Uh -huh. Tell me. Right. Uh, what is the meaning? Chase. Chase. Chasing means perseguir. For example, there are some dogs that they chase. They like to chase people. And rise, for example, when you have an opinion, you raise your hand. You say, hey, I have an opinion. Raise my hand. Alzar la mano, okay. levantar la mano. Okay. So that's rise. And we know about uh, go, right? That you move to another place. We got some examples here. I have finished the report. I've finished the report. Check here that this one is the complete sentence. In the one we have subject, auxiliary, as participle of the verb. Then we have the report or the object here. There we have complement. But also we can use a contraction. Contraction of I have is I've. The letter E is silent. You don't pronounce it. We always have the past participle of the verb and the complement. Let's see the next part. Can you continue, please? Wilfredo, can you read the second example? We have done our homework. Very good. Contraction. We've done our homework. Excellent, that's right. Look at that here. My subject is we. Auxiliary, have. Now the verb has participle and the complement. We can use a contraction. Now will be we've. We've done. Let's see the next one. Continue, Daniela Beatriz. Are you here? Yes. yes. All right, Daniela. Can you please? She has. She has lived in lived Italy. It? For... Lived it? Lived lived uh -huh. good in italy for six years that's right what is the other option contraction she's lived in uh -huh. italy for six years excellent joe that's nice good observe here that in the case of she well now my auxiliary is has because it's a third person singular subject so it changes the auxiliary has to be has now in the contraction you use it like this it looks like a contraction of the verb to be, like where she is. You make a contraction, it's the same manner. But how do you know that you are not talking about the verb to be? Because it's not the verb to be in this structure. How do you know it? Because of the next word. The next word is a verb in past participle. So it's not talking about or is not expressing a contraction of the verb to be. Let's see the next part. Fatima, can you please? John. John has been here yeah. before. Here before, right. Contraction, please. John's been here before. Thank you. Right. In the complete structure, we have subject, has, because John is like a he, is a third person singular. Then we have has participle of the verb, complement. Now, what is the base form of being? Remember? Be. Be, exactly. Be. So is the verb be correct? My past participle is being. Really good. In the contraction, observe here that you need to include apostrophe S included to the subject. But this is the case with a singular manner. So you can say young has been or John's been here before any question about this don yes done this one you have the base form of the verb is do remember what is the verb do the verb yes. do what is the verb do okay I said Aha, uh -huh, that's good. If we have a uh, we have done or we have done is hemos hecho nuestra tarea. So remember that present perfect is algo que he hecho o no he hecho aún, pero que es posible que a futuro sí se realice. So that is done. 
Let's go on the next part then. Here we have more examples with the irregular verbs. The simple form, that's the base form. We have be, where, or was. Remember that the verb to be, it has two forms to conjugate. In the case of the past, right? In simple present, we know that it depending on the subject that you have. Past participle, being. Then you have have, have, have. Do, did, done. Say, said, said. Go, went, gone. Get, got, gotten. Make, made, made. Do you have a new verb? <clears throat> no? What about get? The verb get. Tener. Obtener. Obtener, conseguir. Exactly. That's right. Now, tell me here. What are the things that are possible to make? What things are possible to make? Hacer. Uh -huh. But what things? What things are possible to make? For example, pupusas are possible to make. Yes? So we can have a question from there. Have you made pupusas before? We can ask a question like that. Have you made pupusas before? Yes, I have. Uh -huh. made. Pupusas before. Okay, so let's formulate a question here. Have you made pupusas before? Notice here the structure that we have. But in the answer, it's possible that you can answer like in a short manner or also it can be in a complete manner. Yes, I have. What about if it's negative? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Excellent. No, I haven't. I haven't. If you use a complete answer, also is correct. So if you say, yes, I have made pupusas before. Or negative. No, I have not made pupusas before that's just the case of that you want to sound like more formal and give a complete idea but it's correct to give a short manner too yes i have or no i haven't now let's see some of the more of the structure that we have here in this one we have the grammar focus Present perfect, already, and yet. Let's have an introduction about this. It says that the present perfect is formed with the verb have plus past participle. In a question, it says, have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. Or negative, no, I haven't been to one. Has Carlos visited the theme parks? Yes, he's visited three or four. Or negative, no, he hasn't visited any parks. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. Or negative, no, they haven't eaten yet. Notice that here we have, in the present perfect, we have already for an expectation. Cuando se tiene la expectativa que algo ha sucedido. That's why it says yet in the question. 
have they eaten dinner yet? So you wait that the person has done the activity. If it's an affirmative, you can use already. Yes, they've already eaten. It's like, yes, yeah, sí, sí, ya comieron. O oh, sí, ya, ya han comido la, la cena, right? If it's negative, no, they haven't eaten yet. In a negative, that means aún or todavía. No han comido aún. That's for a negative form. Notice here that in the contractions that we have, as we mentioned before, we have for the subject I, you host I have or I've. If the contraction here, you have you've, but you can use complete. You have. His is contracting. He has. She's is contracting. She has. It's contracts. It has. We've is contracting. We have. They've contracts. They have. Hasn't. Has not. Haven't, have not. Question about this? All clear. All clear? Okay, let's read it. Sulma, can you read the first one, please? Have you? Have you, have you been to a jazz club? To a jazz club? To a jazz club? To a jazz club. Very good. Thank you. Brenda, continue, please. You're going to give the two forms of answer. Yes. Yes, you've been. I, I've been. Yes, I've been to several. Uh -huh. Negative? No, I haven't been to one. To one. Very good job. Nice. Gwendy Adamaris. Has Carlos visited the theme parks? The theme parks. The theme parks. The theme parks. Thank you. Continue. Daisy, please. Yes. Yes, he's beside, beside, visited. Visited. Visited three. Or four. Great. Negative? No, he hasn't visited any part. That's all right. Let's see, Raquel. Sí, teacher. Yes. Can you read this one, please? Have uh, they? Yeah. Have they eaten dinner yet? That's great. Thank you. Let's see. Was this person? Roberto Carlos? Hello. Hello. Oh, yes. Go ahead, Roberto. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, they, yes they be. Dave. Remember here, contraction, Dave. Dave. Already. Already. Um, we know how young is. Eaten. Let me make it bigger. Eaten. Eaten. Okay. Eaten. Okay. That's right. Negative, please. Can you read the negative? No, they haven't eaten. Perdón. Eaten. Eaten. Yet. Yet. That's all right. Yet. Good one. Okay, nice. Now let's formulate here some other questions. If I ask you, for example, eh, Selena, are you present, Selena? No. Let's ask some questions. I think she has problems, right, with that. Claudia Carolina? Claudia? Betsaida? Present teacher. All right. Let me ask you just a question. Have you ever been uh, to the United States? Give us a short answer. Have you been to the United States? Yes, I was. I have, I have. I have. Aha, uh -huh, that's good. We're using past participle, but in the question, right? In the answer, 
you just give a simple sentence like uh, yes I have or no I haven't okay yes great thank you okay I'm going to pass the list guys so let me know that you are present okay let's begin Andrea Andrea de Los Angeles present teacher thank you Betsaida Jasmine I'm here. Thank you. Brenda Carolina. Present teacher. Thanks. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniela Beatriz. Present. Thank you. David Moises. David Moises. Daisy Estefania. Present. Thank you. Diana Jan Millet. Diana, Eved Jaciel, Eved, Eric Ronaldo, present Miss, thank you, Estela Guadalupe, present, thank you, Fatima Larisa, I'm here Miss, thanks, Freddy Ernesto, Freddy Ernesto, Germán Ulises, Germán, Jennifer Saraí, Jennifer Saraí, Julia Margarita, Julia Margarita. Maria Mercedes. Um, teacher. They, are they writing? Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Maria Mercedes. Maria Mercedes. Present. You're present. Thank present. you. Thank you. Marvin Vitalicio. Present, Miss. Thank you, Marvin. Pablo Alejandro. Pablo Alejandro. Raquel Esther. Raquel Present. Esther. Thank you, Raquel. Present. Thank you. Roberto Carlos. Present. Thank you, Roberto. Sandy Roxana. Present. Thank you. Wendy Adamaris. Present, teacher. Thank you, Wendy. Wendy Beatriz. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Wilfredo Alberto. I hear you, Miss. Thank you. William Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Selena Yamilet. Selena Yamilet. Sulma Natividad. She's writing. Hello? She's writing? Okay. Thank Present. You. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Teacher, yes. se planeando problemas. Creo que ya me mencionó. The connection, right? Yes. Thank you. Okay. It's ready here in the list. Thank you so much. Yes, they're having some problems. Yeah, I okay. can. Yeah, I have Margarita, Wilfredo. Yes. We got Selena. Yes, Jennifer, Eved. All right. Thank you guys for informing. Thank you very much. All right, we saw here an, a short introduction about the present perfect, but tomorrow we'll continue with that. I'm going to send you also some other exercises in some videos about that. Questions, guys? No questions about it? All right. No, I wish you a very good night. Have sweet dreams. And thank you so much for waiting for your patience. Thank you, you. Thank you, me. Thank you, thank guys. You, oh. Have a very oh, happy yeah, night. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank Remember you. the platform, yeah. please. Thank, thank, the you. Platform. Okay. Yes. thank you so much, guys. Good very good night. Take care. Until tomorrow. Yes. See you tomorrow. Take care.